we have before us a very serious looking book. It's Physics, a textbook for colleges. And this one is by Stuart and Gingrich, fifth edition, Gin and Company. This is a nice old book. I'm sorry, I just gotta smell it. I just gotta give it a whiff here. Just oh it oh it's just incredible. It's wrong. It has it smells like fresh laundry. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's what it smells like. It smells like clean clothes. It is incredible. Physics. A Textbook for Colleges by Oscar M. Stewart, 5th edition, wow, by Newell S. Gingrich, Professor of Physics, University of Missouri. This is a serious book. It is a textbook. I like how it says that, textbook. I, you know, I, most of the books, I would say 99% of the books uh, that there are videos for on this channel are textbooks, but the fact that this one actually says textbook something about it. I don't know. I just don't think of them as textbooks, but I guess they are, right? So copyright 1950 by Jen and Company. Yeah, wow. And then some earlier copyrights, 1924 being the earliest. So I guess the original one was from 1924. Wow, let's just read a little bit here of the preface, not the whole thing, maybe the first sentence or two. The main purpose of this text is to introduce the basic principles of physics to beginning college students who have not had special mathematical training and who take physics as a part of a general course in arts and sciences. Cool. All right. N.S. Gingrich, Columbia, Missouri. Here we go. Contents. The page is very, very good quality. I feel like they're, they're like glossy. They, they printed this book and they printed it well. Um, very well made. Contents, mechanics and properties of matter. That's part one. So we have liquids, gases, a unit of measurement, force, uniformly accelerated motion, effects of forces on motion, work and energy, simple machines, friction, elasticity, a vibratory motion, rotary motion, gravitation, fluids in motion, special properties of matter due to molecular action. Part two is heat. Temperature and its measurement, thermal expansion, quantity of heat, work in heat, the transfer of heat, change of state, and then some applications of the principles of heat, wave and sound. So we have wave motion and sound. Let's see what's over here. Magnetism and electricity. Wow. Electrostatics, condensers and capacitance, electrical currents, work and power resistance, electrical circuits, and then light. And there's an appendix and an index. I don't believe there are going to be answers to any of the exercises in this book. Oh, 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 I could be wrong. I could be wrong. No, it's just, it's just, an, I think, I think this is it. I think there might be answers. Answers to problems. Yes, there are. There are, there are some answers to problems, and there is some information here in very small text about those answers. It is so small, it's almost like they don't want you to read it. Here we go, some answers are only approximations. Okay, oh, I, I think I know why it's small. They had a lot to say, but like, they didn't want to like clutter the answer section, so thank you. Often the value of a quantity that is only approximately known must be used in the computations. Okay, yeah, a lot of good information there. Very good work. Yeah, so th there's answers to a lot of the problems. Not all of them, but a lot of the problems. Have it's, it's, you know, a lot. Quite a few. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's look at the very beginning. Let's see how it starts. So if you were to go online and find this book somehow. Uh, by the way, if I, I'll look for it. I, I don't know if it, like, if it exists, if you can find this book, if it's still in print, if it's... Um, I don't know much about it. Um, it sounds familiar, uh, Stuart and Gingrich. It sounds important. The fact that it says textbook for colleges makes it seem really, really important to me. Um, what does this say? An appreciation of the facts that we are now living in a world which is fashioned largely by science and that the process has only begun leads many to be ambitious to understand modern scientific methods of thinking and the concepts, principles, and theories of science. Unfortunately, the path of knowledge is rather long and tortuous. These concepts, principles, and methods must be learned step by step. 
Only through the consideration of many specific cases are the more general ones understood. Technical methods can be understood only after one learns to think technically. There is no shortcut, but to one who has patience, the end is well worth the journey. Wow. Chapter 1. Liquids. The history of the rise of man is the history of the development of spirit and imagination. It is also the history of the growth of brain and mentality. From the beginning, the materials of his physical environment have been man's greatest obstacle and his greatest stimulus. Three forms of matter. Liquids. Yeah, it's just a physics book. And it's an older book. It's very different. It feels like it's very different from uh, the modern books, the layout. You know, it's not, you know, newer books are very different. The way they have color and, you know, things are spread out. The books are bigger, um, so things are spread out more over the pages. Here you have some exercises. How much pressure is necessary to force water to the top, of, top floor of a building 40 feet above the basement? Hmm. Interesting. Here's another one. When a column of mercury is 65 centimeters high in a barometer, what is the pressure in dynes per square centimeter? Okay. Huh. 25 exercises. I just have to smell it again. I'm sorry. It's just... Oh, wow, wow, I don't know what's going on with this book. My copy is incredible. Force, so this is something you do a little bit of in, um, in calculus. You know, if you take a, a calculus class, you can uh, use force. You can create a force function, and um, you can use it to compute work, which is uh, something you do in calculus courses. So here, you know, it introduces force from, you know, the perspective of physics. So this is really even, like, even more important, I think. Um, it's very, very important physics. I want to say very important for mathematics, but this is key stuff, right? Examples of forces in equilibrium. And then you have more exercises. There are a lot of exercises, and you have answers to some of them. So, I mean, uh, there's 21 here, I believe. No, 28. Wow, that's a lot of exercises. 28 exercises uh, in Chapter 4. So let's see how many answers we get for those exercises. Let's go look. Find the answers. Oh, I don't know the page. Mm. No, no, no. I lost the page. Oh, well, I think it might have been this one here, 54 to 56. Yeah, so there's quite a few here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Uh, 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 16, 18. So quite a few there. Pages 54 to 56. I'm pretty sure that's where I was. Let's just double check. Yep, it was. It smells so good. Incredible. Incredible. So decent book for self-study. I mean, maybe very, I mean, you have quite a few answers. So something you can actually, in theory, pick up and read. You can work through the exercises, struggle, and at least you have answers uh, that you can use, that you can check your work with. But, um, yeah, it's kind of kind of a cool book. I'll look for it, see if I can find it. Physics, a textbook for colleges. Good luck.